Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly so for breakfast, Ash has requested a cereal bar. So I made these uh, last week at the end of the week. Um, and they're just, they've been in the freezer. Basically, they're um, Cheerios, uh, Trader Joe's Cheerios, rice cereal, uh, peanut butter, honey. And then I put a little bit of chocolate chips in them. And I just keep them in the freezer. And then I just cut them apart. And they look like this. So peanut butter, honey, Cheerios, rice cereal. So like, um, you know what I'm talking about. Rice Krispies, Rice Krispies, uh, chocolate and honey. I don't know if I said that already, but only five ingredients. And then, like I said, I just keep them in the freezer and then I cut these off when he's ready to eat it. So he's having this and a yogurt for breakfast. Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Let me see. I'm gonna try to turn it. Push this blue button. Push the blue button. Over here. Push it. I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. Okay, now say it. Thank you. I would prefer the helmet dog for a while. Open it and say hello, Buzz. Hey, you, my friend, are one of my favorite life forms. Okay, guys, in the car, we have everything we need for public, what are we calling it? Public going outing? I don't know. Um, hand sanitizer, which they're now saying doesn't really work. Um, we've got some disinfecting wipes just in case we touch anything we need to disinfect afterwards. And then I have a whole ton of gloves in my bag. Um, those are just like black gloves from the police station. Um, I have masks coming in the mail. My mom actually made them, so they're going to be pretty cute. But anyway, we are on our way to preschool. I don't think I'm going to stop for coffee on the way back because I think I'm going to drink a pre-workout today instead of coffee. That will be my caffeine intake for the day.
guys, so I'm here in my home classroom and I have been sitting here for probably about an hour and a half now since I last talked to you guys. And so what I've been working on is I've been uploading uh, video lessons to my classroom YouTube channel, I guess. It's just, it's not like a public YouTube channel. It's just the one that goes with my school email and all of the videos there are unlisted. Um, but so I just wanted to quickly share with you guys like the expectations for teachers in my school district. So I'm going to put you down and kind of talk you through it. So our school district pushed out a digital learning expectation plan for the teachers. Um, the first week we were posting one lesson slash assignment for each subject. And those subjects were reading, writing, and math only and then a social emotional component. So some sort of like activity for the kids to do that is for their social emotional learning. This week though, we got an email um, pushing out a new plan, which is going to be two lessons and videos for each subject. And they've added uh, science and social studies into the mix. So instead of three subjects, we're going to have reading, writing, math, science, social studies, and SEL. So the students are gonna be given 12 assignments per week, things that they need to turn in. Uh, that's two per subject. And then we are supposed to make video lessons for each one of those assignments. Um, one video can be filmed by us and made by us. And then the second video can either be made by us or we can find something online to support the students with their work. Um, so a lot more uh, pressure on us than the last week, the first week. Um, and then we're also supposed to be planning for two weeks at a time. So um, our lessons, our, I guess our activities, our assignments have to be ready and posted by today, Wednesday, um, for the next two weeks of online learning. And then our videos don't have to be live until the Monday beginning. So um, basically what that means is I have assignments ready for the week of April 13th and for the week of April 20th, but my videos don't have to be ready and live until that day, the 13th and then the 20th. So the videos I'm filming kind of as I go a little bit slower. So every week I film like a welcome video where I just welcome the kids to the week. I talk about a couple things that are different. I talk about like what they can expect from the week. And then I kind of guide them through, like I do a screen recording on my computer and just show them everything that they're gonna have for the week um, and kind of just explain it. And then as a team, we decided to divide and conquer. So I am the ELA teacher, uh, the digital ELA teacher. So I plan, post, and teach all of the ELA lessons. So it's kind of nice because instead of filming like 12 videos a week, I only have to really film like three or four. Um, and then my team teachers, one's doing math, one's doing science, one's doing social studies. And then um, the one who's doing science is also doing SEL. So we've kind of divided and conquered. Um, we just send each other all of the assignments and the links to all of our videos and things that we've made. And then we each share everything on our Google Classrooms. So that has really helped um, alleviate some of the workload because as you can imagine, 12 assignments creating posting and making lessons for that many per week would be really hard to do. Um, the only thing that I worry about with this much workload is that our district says that we should only be giving our students about an hour of work a day. And I think that the amount of work they're asking us to post is far more than an hour a day. So I'm just gonna suggest to my students that they do one subject per day um, like maybe they'll do reading on Monday, maybe they'll do math on Tuesday, science Wednesday, social studies Thursday, and then Friday they can do their SEL, um, which is like, you know, like a fun emotional type activity. And then they can do their PE and their music videos. Um, our PE and music teachers are also posting videos every week for our students to do. So I'm kind of thinking that if they do it that way, they'll be able to manage everything and make it an hour of work a day. Um, but our principal is so amazing and he's always telling us just do what's best for kids. And if you feel like what you're posting is too much for them, then cut it back. 
but do what's best for them. So we're pretty much done with the next two weeks. And then after that, I think we might cut it back a smidge. Um, but as of right now, I do have about 15 students logging into Google Classroom, or at least have logged into Google Classroom, whether it's from a computer, a tablet, or a phone. Um, and so far, I've only got about five active students, which means that there are five actually turning things in. So um, that's really positive, especially since in our school district, a lot of diverse needs, a lot of kids don't have technology, a lot of them don't have internet. Um, and so we did push out a lot of packets for kids who had a phone. I suggested that they get a packet so that they can do the work and then just post a picture to Google Classroom instead of trying to function Google Classroom on a phone because it is a little bit harder, especially for a nine-year-old. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing. I've already filmed, I filmed it yesterday, my welcome video and my ELA video. You guys can see my little anchor chart is still out. So I kind of just film right here. And then today or tomorrow, I think I'm going to film my holes read aloud. So um, I know this isn't a third grade level book, but it is a really fun read aloud. And I promised them that I would read this to them before the end of the school year. And so I wanted to, oh, I wanted to, my crown fell. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I read that to them before the end of the school year. So every week I'm doing four chapters. So I need to film that probably today or tomorrow, post that, and then all my videos are done for next week, the 13th of April. And then I will start filming for week three, which is the 20th of April. Um, so that's what's going on. I've had coffee this morning. I've had my skinny tabs, as you guys saw. I need to get hot to trot on drinking my water because it's been hard to manage, like so many beverages in my day. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's how we're kind of doing things here. Um, and for my Google classroom, what are you up to? Trying to get a police hat. A police hat yeah, from, from Chase? Chase? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you going to work out? Yeah. I want to work out too. I ate some protes. Protes? What's a prot? It is. Teach me Yoda. Still cut oats. Mmm. Chocolate whey protein, banana, and peanut butter. Wow, it sounds delicious. Carbs and protein all in one. You're off today, huh? Yes. You want to go watch some All American? Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Why is my oh see opposite direction? So, see what had happened was I put. I switched it because Cash was helping himself to the pantry. Mm -hmm. You get me, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I accidentally put this facing the wrong direction. So you can take it off and fix it, but it doesn't bother me. I just... I had to do it quick before I got caught by the toddler. It still works. so I'm officially done working out um if you want to do the workouts that I do I'm following this girl on Instagram her name is I'll show you guys um her Instagram K Camp Fit um it looks like this K Camp Fit um I really like her workouts before all of this staying at home stuff started she did a lot of stuff in the physical gym and now that she's home she posts a lot of at home workouts that are really easy to do so I just did a back and biceps workout. Now I'm going to make lunch and I think I'm gonna make a sandwich, like a basic sandwich. quite some time since the last time I saw you around lunchtime. Since then, um, haven't really done a whole lot in our day. We um, showered, 
we watched All American, which is a show on Netflix that we're both really in love with. Um, we watched, what, like two episodes of that? Um, we went to pick up cash from school. We went and picked up a drive through order from Kohl's. Cash needed some new shoes and some new clothes. He's like outgrowing everything. Um, and then we came home, we went for a scooter ride, which I will insert a clip of that here. getting ready for bed. Cash is just watching his favorite little show. He wanted to watch a show tonight instead of reading books, so we're going to do that. Hi. And we're ordering food to be delivered because we do not want to go out. Where'd what go? I think it's under your blanket, babe. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and end this vlog tonight. Um, I think after we put Cash to bed, we'll probably watch more All American. Um, we're ordering our favorite little Mexican place. It's called Moreno's. Really good. Um, and then I think we're gonna just watch some more TV, probably either All American or we're on Game of Thrones season one. We just started it, so. Um, so we'll probably just watch that and then go to sleep and then start our day all over again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.